are not going to believe what you're fixing to see. We're actually going to cut open a 12-year-old 50-gallon water heater it's never been flushed or drained. Now, depending on how hard your water is, how much calcium, magnesium, all the different things that contribute to your water quality is, is gonna determine what's inside your water heater. But the one thing I want you to understand from this is, the more you flush your water heater, if you'll flush it each year like you're supposed to, it'll increase your efficiency level and make your water heater actually last longer. So what I'm gonna do first is, I'm gonna show you the inside of a water heater to show you what it should look like, and then I'm gonna bust out some really cool tools. We're gonna cut open a water heater and show you what the inside of it looks like. Before we do that, let's step back here and look at the inside of a brand new cut open water heater and show you what it should look like. Okay, so as you can tell, this is a 50 gallon gas water heater. You've got your, anode rod right over here on the back side. You've got your flue right here in the center. You've got your dip tube right here. Look and see how pretty and clean the inside of the water heater is. That's what it should look like in the beginning. Now, even down here looking at the bottom, you've got the gas control valve coming in. You've got your TMP right up here in the top. Everything looks clean and brand new. It's actually, this is a beautiful water heater. This is what they should look like. This is what they look like when the plumber first comes and install them or you install it yourself. But what we're gonna do today, we're gonna show you the inside of another water heater. This is one that we pulled out of an attic a couple of weeks ago. I wanted to make sure that we saved it. So let's throw some PPE on and let's get ready to have fun. So I got my motto goggles on, hearing protection, gloves, tools, ready to go. So as you saw from the other water heater, the insulation's pretty thick. Now this water heater being as old as it is, maybe not so thick, we're gonna look at that. But I'm gonna cut the outer shell first, then I'm gonna cut the tank open so we can look inside and see what we got going on. All right, here we go. Now this is really interesting because you've got regular fiberglass insulation up top here, but then you've got the poured foam insulation down here on the bottom. So let's try and get it out, see what we can do. And that's kind of what I was expecting it to just come off. Okay, so now you see the tank inside. Now, this insulation is just a little bit thinner than the other one was, not a lot. But what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go ahead and cut open the inner tank to see what the inside of this thing looks like. Let me get some more safety equipment. All right, so I've taken the model goggle off, uh, got my safety glasses on. Man, let's look in here and see what we got. This thing here looks pretty nasty. Now, when you look inside here, you look at the anode rod. The anode rod, they're a sacrificial rod. They're, they're made to sacrifice themselves to protect the inside of the tank. You look at the, the dip tube. Dip tube doesn't look like it's in too bad a condition. 
It's still here coming down, not quite as low as I would think. I would think that cold water, you'd want to come down to the bottom. But man, what I want you to do is I want you to get around here and look at all this built up in the bottom here. This thing here looks pretty nasty. And I'm going to try and dig it out because I want you to see this is everything you're having to heat through to get to your water before it can ever heat the water. The flue looks good. I don't see a lot of sediment built up on it. That's really the only place is the bottom, but I got to tell you, it looks pretty freaking thick. Let's see what this looks like. Okay, so as you can see, you, you've got a lot of buildup over here around the gas control valve. But look at this on the bottom. It's, it's not as thick as I thought it was, but I mean, you've got some areas here where it's, you know, a quarter to a half inch thick. And, and this is all sediment. This is in the bottom of your water heater. If you're not flushing it every single year, that's just building up in the bottom of it. Calcium, magnesium uh, is full of water. But the thing is, you're having to heat, you're having to heat up every bit of this just to get up to the water inside of the water heater. This is why you really wanna flush these each and every year. It's gonna make it more efficient. It's gonna make it last longer. Everything else in here looks pretty good, even the anode rod. It doesn't look too bad. It's been sacrificed along the bottom. There's still a lot of it up here. But this right here is what this whole thing is about. You've got to flush these things on a regular basis. It's going to make your water heater last longer. It's going to make it be more efficient. You're going to get more money out of it. And you're actually going to have hotter showers, better showers. If this is building up like this in here. What's it doing to the inside of your water lines and everything else? One thing that we recommend is a whole house water filtration system, but that's a whole nother video. So as you see, cutting open a water here, man, what a neat thing to do. Not for everybody, I get that. And if you decide to do that, be careful in there. Those are very sharp edges. What I wanted to show you is all the sediment, all the buildup in the bottom of it, because that makes a water heater less efficient. You saw some areas where it was about an inch thick. All that's got to get hot. Can you imagine an inch of sludge in the bottom of a pot before you boil it? All that's got to get hot before it can ever boil. Not very efficient. Anyway, a whole house water filtration may be the best system for you or something to look at if you're having problems like that. But if you've got a water heater less than a couple of years old, start flushing it now. Start flushing it once a year and yours should last quite a long time. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this and you are definitely going to love the next video.